What's up, Scarna? Bringing you VOR number 10, I believe, where we are going to do the award show of Pokemon Crystal. Determining what is the best team member, best gym leader, best Elite Four member, and best legendary Pokemon of Generation 2. Like I said, it's Pokemon Crystal or Gold and Silver, whatever you want to say about that. But for right now, I'm going to start off right off the bat with best team member. Now, you guys voted, and uh, I'm going to announce the winners. But first, let's start with the elimination. So, uh, for the best team member, it was not... Lapras, otherwise known as Chun Li. It was not Pseudo Udo, otherwise known as Dom Sim. It was not Saget, otherwise known as Dragonite. And it was not known, or it is not Raichu, otherwise known as Blanca. It was not Polyrath, otherwise known as Necro. So it's between, it's between Typhlosion and Umbreon. So the winner for best team member is Umbreon. Because a lot of people like Umbreon, I don't blame why. Typhlosion is my favorite Pokemon of all time. But Umbreon, he's it's like one of my favorite evolutions. So I don't blame you guys for voting for Umbreon. So yeah, Buki won. Close second for Typhlosion though. So I'm going to go straight to the next award which is best gym leader so for the gym leaders it is not Faulkner it is not Bugsy it is not Chuck it is not Jasmine it is not Price and it is not Claire so it's between Morty and Whitney the winner for best gym leader is Whitney and like let me just add that uh, I kinda saw this coming I mean Whitney having a Clefairy and Miltank and all, Miltank being an absolute beast at that point of the game is very, you know, frightening. And yeah, another reason why I don't blame you guys for voting for this particular winner, I'm just saying. So yeah, best gym leader is Whitney. Now for the best Elite Four member, it is out of four, which is either Will, Koga, Bruno, or Karen. So, let's start with the eliminations. It was not Will, it was not Koga, so it's between Bruno and Karen. This was a little bit shorter, so I should've just started with the elimination. So, basically the winner is Karen, the dark type user. Now, some of you guys that has newer games know about Karen, but for right now, the generation two, she is of the dark type user. So, I guess I could, it, it, Bruno and Koga were close. I mean, Koga was nearly tied with Bruno, but Karen took it all, I guess, because I she is the strongest of the Elite Four members of Pokemon Crystal. With a little bit of a mixture of all the types of Pokemon, like Houndoom is Fire Dark type, Fireplume is Grass Poison, even though she's not Dark type, Dark Flying type, and then there's a Ghost uh, Poison type. What else were there? Uh, there's just Umbreon being a tank that she has. And I think the Shilly has five, right? I think she does. I'm pretty sure I named them all. Yeah, all, all those Pokemon, and compared to Bruno, where you could beat it with water, grass, and flying, and psychic. And for Koga, all you need is a fire type, really, and you can take them out, no problem. Will, on the other hand, you know, since Dark type is new, he, and Ghost types being there as well, Will isn't exactly. I mean, you could go around Will with all the other combinations that he has. Karen, I could understand why, but it's still pretty close. So yeah, all right. So the final award, which is best legendary Pokemon. So out of all the legendary Pokemon, there is Celebi, there's Raikou, there's Entei, there's Suicune, there's Lugia, and then there's Ho-Oh. Let's start with the eliminations. It was not Celebi, it was not Lugia, it was not Raikou, and it was not Suicune. So it's between Entei and Ho-Oh. The winner for best legendary Pokemon is Ho-Oh. So, Ho-Oh, I just 
my first favorite legendary Pokemon. I like Ho a lot, so another reason for this whole thing, I don't blame you guys for voting any of these. For the past uh, award shows, I was like, you know, I I didn't see this coming, but for this particular award show, I did see what and understand why you voted for. So yeah, that's pretty understandable for all of them. I'm pretty sure this is the shortest award show, but then again, they should be shorter. They should be short because for the past ones, I've been talking way too much on the other ones. The award shows are short. The nominations are pretty long because I explain each and every one of them. But yeah, understandable. And pretty much it about the award shows. And see to it that I'm going to talk about for an update. So I guess this is a mixture of the award show and the update. Um, this week... Uh, this week I don't think I'll be able to post anything up on YouTube for a while but however I will have a stream on for the 20th of July around the same time I had it last time so I'm probably gonna start it around 3 p.m. Pacific time and finish it off probably four hours later and I'm gonna play myself some Super Smash Brothers now for the thing is I could upload it to YouTube I can but the thing is I did stream like I promised you guys before in June 15th which is the halfway point of the year I did that on purpose because I knew I had to do a stream and I have not done that because that was my New Year's revolution is to resolution not revolution it's still revolutionary but I wanted to do that for 2014 since January and June 15th is the halfway point of the year so I thought since I haven't streamed any time before that what better time than the, the halfway point really so yeah my next stream is gonna be July 20th but th th that wasn't even the point I wanted to make June 15th when I did the stream uh, it was the first time of me streaming and it was echoing I could upload it, but that was the problem. It's just the echoing. It's because my dumb self didn't mute the actual stream itself in Twitch. I left it on. So for this one, I'm probably going to just finish the emulated version of Super Smash Bros. And I'm going to see... I'm going to probably download the whole stream from the first one and this one. And see which one I like best. If I don't... If you... If I don't think it's uh, hearable or good enough, I might just buy the game and just stream it myself in my own time for August and the following months to YouTube because that echoing part might screw things up. And I'm just going to do the same thing as I did with the other stream. So hopefully you stop on by, press the follow button, press the like button, and please consider subscribing if, you, if you're new, if you had never seen Scar Knight before, then I recommend you watch my other videos of Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Crystal, Super Mario 64, or Yoshi Story, my current Let's Play. But yeah, press the follow button and you'll see me this Sunday where I'm going to play Super Smash Brothers. And if you're watching this from the future, you could also watch myself play my lead stream of Super Smash Brothers. Because the way I work with streams is uh, I treat it like a let's play, but it's usually games that I can't really let's play normally. So hopefully you know what I'm talking about. But this is like an excuse. Since I can't let's play like let's say a racing game, then I'll stream it. Because I will always want to play Super Smash Brothers, but you can't really let's play that because it, you know there's you could. Uh, you, you know what I mean so basically yeah that's it and uh, congratulations again to my best team member Umbreon best gym leader Whitney best elite form member Karen and the best legendary Pokemon ho -Oh. thank you guys for watching and white tigers and dragons to you